Hi, it's Lee from ASAP Studios. Uh, today we're going to be talking to you and showing you how to use the Proxy Harvester tool. Um, it's a free tool, uh, so there's an excuse, everyone can go out and download it today. Um, I will note I'm running this on my iMac, um, but the software is actually designed for Windows, but we do support our tools running on iMac with Parallels. Um, anyway, straight to it, we have three different panels as such. We have the proxy source manager. Uh, this is where we will enter uh, some URLs that contain proxies. Uh, to start off, we've got this cloud source button, which is pretty cool. So we can hit the cloud source button and it will update from our cloud. At the moment, we've only got one source in here, um, but a source could be any, any page that contains proxies. So you can literally search Google for proxies, find a website that's got a bunch of proxies on it and just enter the URL in here um, and that will count as a source. Uh, we can also import sources from text or export export the source list as well. So if you've got a large uh, source list, we can import and export here. Okay, so once we've got at least one proxy source in here, we can then go along and harvest proxies from sources. Um, as you see here, it only shows one because we've only got one in there. So simply hit the button. And as you can see, it's pulled in 50 proxies from this page. Um, oh, let me slide that back. Okay, and same again, we can import and export proxy lists using text files, which is pretty cool or handy. And we can cut and paste from clipboard as well if you wanted to. Um, we can have a max thread uh, right up to 100, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, set a timeout option you can also do a retry as well which is good um, this is very very useful this uh, down here is what website will test the proxy against so if you're particularly wanting to use proxies on a certain site uh, it's best that you put it in here and what that will do is it'll actually test each proxy against that url to see if it works so which is handy like say if you're um, wanting to scrape certain sites or you want to view certain sites some of these may already be blocked by certain servers so it's quite handy to check it against an actual url so anyway with this uh, i'm just going to run it so uh, as you can see it's only got 50 so it's going to be through it quite quick So I've got 25, 25 threads there getting still to do it, So these last two, if they're dead, we might have to wait the full 60 seconds. We'll see. There we go, all threads done. And then we just simply save results. Uh, proxies. CSV. Done. And then I can quickly have a look. In open office, so we can show you <coughs> what it looks like. So, if I just open this up, so as you can see, we have the proxy itself, uh, we have whether or not it was working, we have the country and the proxy type, and we also have the test result against the URL. So, which is quite good and, and handy. As I say, look, you can see this one was a working proxy. Um, it's transparent, but it won't work for Google. So it's it's very handy to, to run these proxies and check. Uh, you can see out of them, 50 proxies. Two of them are bad. Um, the rest are all working, but not all of them, as you can see, passed on Google. So that extra check really does help. Um, anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching the video. And as I say, it's a free tool. So there's no excuse to uh, go and download it and um, 
feel free to let us know how to improve it or what improvements you think will make it even better. So thanks for watching. Cheers.